Hi. Hi, everybody. I want to thank you for following me. I just can't sit in at this page. I see that people are following this page. I'm very happy for that. Thank you guys very much. So today, I actually come and I can talk about our entertainment industry and things that we really need to do, you know, um, for the we push ourselves go before. Now, some of the things that we really need for do as Sierra Leoneans and for push yourself go before, they are pretty easy. It's just that we know they consider them because we're looking at things like they are hard, but really they are not hard. Now, this is one thing we, every time we are go out, we are going to a restaurant or going to a club or now any social gathering, one of the things they work in, they always wonder why they read and they play too much of foreign music then is why are they not promoting Sierra Leone music? In my opinion, I feel like the Sierra Leone artists, them, they have really done their best and they are still doing their best. I feel like the, the, the DJ, them, not in the fail we, especially not the music industry, not in the fail we. Because here is the thing, you know the music where you really not like? That music where you not like, if you listen to Ram over and over again, you delay like you they begin to sing to Ram because you get used to Ram. Now, so it's on. So now, where will they go now in places there? Where do they continuously play foreign songs them and they might just play one salon song or two salon songs out of sympathy? It's kind of funny. Because if you play 70% of Sierra Leonean music and then you play 30% of all other foreign music, guess what? People learn within that place, they do not get choice but for listening to salon music and for dance to them. But the DJs, they are not doing that. And in most cases, the DJ then they say, our oh, salon artists do not respect them. And the DJ then want to salon artists then pay them for playing their music, which is really ridiculous because um, I am sorry, I'm not hating on nobody, but David don't ever pay you for playing music. Whiskey have never done that. Not any other artist actually, when a foreign artist, not one day pay you for playing music. They not even know you. They might never even meet you. You know, you might never get recognition from them, but you're still turning your back on your own country and your culture and your people because you say they don't pay you. You see, they can say um, they're not a respect chief not in, not in, not in village where come on, but I think that is wrong. Because I always say to people, um, I say, listen, where are going to other countries them? And Sierra Leoneans, then they're always so hyped to see me and people are like, oh, well, Zainab Salon people, they like and blah, 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 this, that. I always try to focus on my own people back home. I feel like where I go to Nigeria, I might be an ordinary Zainab sheriff there, but I always um, act like the Zainab sheriff that I am in Sierra Leone because that is the Zainab sheriff that matters to me, what I am in my country, and that is the image that I travel with, and no matter who I go. So I told somebody the other time I go to America where he say, nah, you know, now this America, now these people, then they run, now these people, then they run. I'm, I said, listen, any South Sago, go Sierra Union and Dede, I am queen. To my people, I am queen. I know that. So I roll like a queen everywhere I go. Because what really matters is the opinion of my people to me. So now, if we force the people them, and really, if we have to force them, we must. If we force them to listen to our music, they'll get used to them and they will love them. And I really really think about this the other day. I didn't want to buy the call. What's not this by a name? Mm. I even post about an Amazon up sheriff page. Oh God. A day like where you go by bottom mango, so then be I'm like some kind of local resource, but it's really, really nice. Um now some um white guy get and we married to a Sierra Union lady. Where are they? They then continuously they play salon music. From where I sit on any making play salon music. And I very well know that this is not something that they do every day. They, they were only doing it because I was there. And in their mind, it was out of respect for me. But for the two hours where they went and play salon music, I listened to so many salon songs that were not even know they exist. And me and my friend, who was Italian, Fabi, we were enjoying ourselves, and I was telling Fabi, yo, you know, now this person sing this song, now this person sing this song, now this person sing that song. And Fabi keeps saying, Zainab, guess what? I don't want to listen to the music there, so. I don't even know that the music here exists. I say, exactly, and they're good. You know who tell me, say, of all the artists in a salon and all the music they with and don't sing in a salon, imagine, you know, the Tewe Sierra Leone Entertainment boom. That was during Pakaba in time, and that was a long time ago. It's over three decades ago. That was the time when salon music industry boomed after the war. That was a long time ago. You know, go tell me, say, from that time to this time, 
in three hours period or in five hours in a net where you didn't have club, you're not able to find better music than for playing. Now you go to clubs like Lagunda, like Oba, like Toma, or any other place where you go to a salon for good chill. You go realize it and they play more foreign song and then they play one or two salon songs. But sometimes actually no salon song at all. Now, this is something that I think the governments really need for help with, or we the people of Salo, we need for help with it because we are the government. You know how they force the government for pass that law, waited them for give man and 30% quota? I still don't understand how that work. But this is what I want. They need for force the DJs, them, and all the clubs, them, and any event we get, whether it be pool, now, it be wedding or anything, let them play 70% Sierra Leone music, and the 30%, let them play other music, them. If I was Minister of Tourism, really, if I was a Minister of Tourism or Minister of, I really think that we need a Minister of Entertainment, okay? Or if I was Entertainment Ambassador or I have any influence in government or I have any power to push any agenda, I will make sure every club, if you do not play 70% of Sierra Union song, first of all, we're going to shut your club down. Because you... You they eat salon people their money, then they go to your club, then spend money, but you're not supporting our industry, which is wrong, which means you're ripping us off. And understanding that most of the people that we get on entertainment complex there, they are actually foreigners, okay? Even if they are Sierra Leoneans, but they are not hundred percent Sierra Leoneans. So you're milking our people, you're milking their money, but you're not promoting our agenda and you're not promoting our artists and you're making our people look small in their country. We don't have to compete with foreigners on our platform. This is our platform. Sierra Leone is our platform. But the DJs, them, they are not playing their part. They've never played their part. They're such hypocrites. When you go to a club, me, anytime when they see me at any restaurant or any club, I didn't see me, they, they begin play salon song them. It's like, so you guys know what you got to do, but you're not doing it. You're only doing it when you see us. You're only doing it when you see us. As then see a boss to the next thing. Demam in a power. Demam in a power. And everybody will be jumping and dancing. And I, I am always not dancing. I am always irritated, but I just gotta play along. I am not saying this that you gotta play Mamina Power. Forget about that. And in a, in a song way, like, okay, it's still a hit, it's still playing, but there are so many other songs that you could play. But why is it that every time I go to a restaurant, then they play salon song? Anytime I boss up in a club, as I read, the DJ begin blasting. The Mamina Power in the building. Then they begin play salon song them. On top of me head now, I can call for you more than 50 songs that you could play that salon people then go dance to. You know what Sammy says, salon people, they know they enjoy their young song. And if they don't force them, do not give them an option. But I feel like the DJs, they've been failing us. And you want to blame the artists. Them. The artists, they don't they play them parts. The artists, they don't they play them parts. Maurice don't sing boku good songs. On me own, while I go on YouTube, I they play Maurice in song and dance them. Innocent don't sing boku good songs. On me own, while I go on, 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 on YouTube, I they play Innocent Felakuti in song and dance to them. Emma sing, I don't even got to talk. The guy gets so much heat, he not even need for sing for the rest of his life again. It can be quiet, we're good with that. You've given us enough. Okay, man, I'm not going to go there. Even the one that when they sing again, Pupa Banja them, I don't call them. What's not, what's not that guy in the mood and say, don't turn doctor? Where we say 2000 and something, Salon de Fiba in New York, even though that wasn't true. That guy was, that is such corruption, corruption. Like, we have so much songs, and we still got new kids, okay? We still got new kids that are singing. DJs, them, una na una don't fill this industry. And now, I don't even want to talk about the movie industry. Because that one is just sad. Because all the TV, them, na Salon, are thief, una the thief content. We are not a buy content. Then we are a front pass a real content provider. Then because we are able to go TV movie then and play on our TV, we are not a pay for for that. We are not a pay nothing, even to SLBC. Ninety nine percent of the content that we SLBC they play with foreign, they're not a pay for them, and that's why they are not respecting content providers in our salon. And I'm only using SLBC because we're in the national TV. And kudos to SLBC because as for me, they've been supporting me, they've been down with me. But me, I will always say it, supporting me alone is not enough. You got to support more people for this thing to grow. And until this thing grow, I'm not going to get what I deserve. You know, one man not go able to row this boat though. So if you say you they support people based on relationship or based on who they are or who they know, it's not going to help. All these other TV stations that we don't come, I know I name their names, right? I know I name the name, but they're all native than the native content. All the content that within the air are native. And una, where, where, where una the place that salon people then content, they're still not they pay them. And if they say make una pay them, 
una go stop for play them because you have an option you can steal without being ashamed of it and we need a structure and for the entertainment ambassador Caldinero, i don't know if you're still the entertainment ambassador i hope you are because me i do have some respect for you there is so much that you could do that you're actually not doing some of you will feel like you just get a position they forget diplomatic passport for travel up and down and forget visa for you picking or other people them and most people once they, they will say the government is this the government is that but when they get opportunity they only depend for promoting your agenda them because we do need we need structure that will force people to respect us and that will force people to promote our stuff i mean as an entertainment ambassador this is something that you could actually enforce and you don't need money for enforce this. Go to the Minister of Tourism. You can go to the President. You have access there. You can go to whoever you have access to. Instead, you go sit there and talk about anything. Tell them, say, we need a club there. All of the clubs them. Even Pulnado and married. All of this event that they are having. Let them promote salon music. 70% of salon music they must play. Or else, let's shut their shit down. Let's force them. Because if we don't force them, they're not going to do it. And we cannot be begging DJs to play our shit. As an artist, you're a star. You don't go and beg DJs. Because the foreigners, when they play their music, them, they're not they beg them. So please, this is something that we really need to do. I know I kind of sound angry, but I'm not angry. I'm really not angry. I'm just like, you know. So this is something that I'm, that I'm really going to follow through. I'm really going to follow through. I'm saying it here, but while come on, I also... I just want support from the people of Sierra Leone and uh, I want for see what you guys also have to say about this because this is teamwork. Because after this, I'm actually going to reach out to certain people and try to see if they can enforce this law. If you don't want club now, Sally, you know they play 70% of salon music, we're going to shut it down. We must shut it down because you're not promoting our stuff and you are eating money from our people. If you get a bar or restaurant to play music, if you're not promoting Sierra Leone music, you're not playing 70% of that, we're going to shut you down. If you didn't marry now, you married and play too much for your music, first of all, we the don't that married you, okay? We the don't them. If not Pulnado, you get. If you know they play salon music by Pulnado, you they do whatever, whatever, we're going to shut you down, okay? Maybe we'll go even seize you, picking. If not married, we might even seize your wife. We're going to force you guys. And we should actually have Sierra Leone police. We should actually have entertainment police where they actually go and in clubs. They are sidonde for listening for make sure they don't do what we want. We forget that men and go to the restaurants, men and sidonde and see say they are doing the right thing. Men and go to the pool, not the wedding them. Even if not waking, you get if you are not playing Sierra Leone music, you don't need to play no music. So if we actually get entertainment police them, where they monitor them people and enforce them, I promise you, I give you one year. Sierra Leone entertainment they grow. It they grow. Where salon music start now this country, where they be the promoter, um, now we all be the listen to. Why is it dead? It's because the artists are doing their work, but the DJs and the promoters, they are not doing their work. And you always want to compare Sierra Union artists with other foreign artists. Them. Are you even giving them the chance that other countries and the gi, the, the young people them? I was in Guinea not so long ago. I met a very nice guy, Nadi, both where we go. We happen for lodging at the same hotel. We next come. He says, hey, now, let's go hang out. I said, I'm not a hangout person. I like to sleep early. So, okay, we're going to go to a club, blah, blah, blah. He's going to a club. The other day, we meet up in a breakfast table. He says, hey, now, you know what I realize? He said, most countries really let them people them. He said, where you going to the club? You didn't realize that. I said, what do you mean? He said, yesterday, I didn't have the clubs and a guinea. He said, they play guinea and songs them. He said, they're not even as good. I said, for real? I mean, our entertainment industry is so way ahead of Guinea entertainment industry. I'm not dissing nobody, I promise you. I love Guinea, they're our neighbors. But our entertainment industry is so ahead of them. Why are they promoting their culture? Why are they celebrating themselves? Why can't we do that? We're fake, man. We force. Some people, we force. We're wannabes. We want to be anything else but ourselves. And then we want for turn and, and say politician and this and that. The politicians are us. They're like us, really. They are like us. Everybody is failing. Nobody is winning. That's why these days I don't get respect for people. That's why I just stay in a corner, honestly. That's why I just stay in a corner because I cannot respect you if you don't deserve it, if you don't earn it. I'm not going to respect you based on your title. I would never do that. You got to earn respect. But you all like respecting people even if they're not earn them because we are so fake. Now only fake people, they give respect where respect is not due. 
When that guy didn't say that to me, I said, I say, yes, that's true. Me not even go to a club. I said, that's true. I said, but in Salon, you go, you go, you go, any other music. They will promote anything else but Salon music them. Guys, we got to fuss ourselves. If we got to move, we must move ourselves. Nobody is going to move up. And let's stop being fake, okay? Let's stop being fake. Let's be real. Let's be true with ourselves. We all have a role to play, and let's play that role. Look at the football. The last thing we be there, Afcon. Now we're not even there again. I was so happy with this football thing. Now we're not even there. We're not even there. We're not even there anymore. Ah, We're not trying. We're not trying. Everybody who is holding an end in this country, I feel like we are all just dropping where we're holding. We're not uplifting it. And we're not and we're not just pushing the way we're supposed to push. And we just gotta embrace ourselves, respect ourselves, and appreciate ourselves. And this thing why they talk about the entertainment, really. Me, I will pursue them. If not, I get to go to the Minister of Tourism. In fact, the Deputy Minister meet um, some lady called Khadija a few days ago, while I be the hangar with Kaifala. She's really a cool lady. Maybe I will start with her, okay? I mean, even Fatima Bio. This we party has so we not ever agree work. I think say we all too not agree for make you work. If I have to meet her to do this, we have I mean I'm not even sure how I feel about the president. If I need to go to him, I'll go to him. But we gotta push this shit. We just have to do what we have to do to make this thing work. Now, a country where the entertainment industry is not doing well, those people are not gonna be happy. So our unions are not happy. And it's not just because the government suck. It's because most of the industry just suck, even the entertainment industry. And I will say to you, I will put it to you that the entertainers are trying. It is the people who have to promote us. They don't respect us. They are not helping. They are not promoting. Y'all all on social media, when they promote drama, when they promote mamikos, when they promote anything else. Anything else when I will promote, but not to wait when I'm supposed to promote. Can I remind you this? You remember when they call Nigerians them 419? They used to call them that. That was the tag we didn't give them. I mean, when I was in Europe, if they tell you, say, you're not Nigerian, you want to really pull your passport and you say, me not to Nigerian, okay? I'm from Sierra Leone, I'm not from Nigerian, because they get so much bad. Name. Let me tell you now, when Nigerian, they don't earn their respect now the world stage. It's with entertainment. They prove to the world that they're not just thieves, so they're not thieves. They can do better, they're creative, they're entertainer. The Nigerian entertainment industry, the entertainers, and they rebrand their country. They rebrand their country. They don't even need permission from the go go government. They support themselves. They rebrand their country. I will say this to you again, and I've said it before in other platforms. The Nigerian entertainment industry employs 30% of its youth. I want to see who's a youth man they go to before you don't see the video get private jets. I want to see how you they left the go to before you don't see that they get fired. I want to see how you they left the go to before you they see with another guy named that huge guy. Huge ones with my name, FA. That big guy, where they sing in Nigeria, that tall one, the giant bar, whether they win Grammy. I want to see if that not going to inspire you. If we cannot inspire each other, I mean, why, why are we doing this? Let's do what the Nigerians do. They rebrand their country. If you sit on like today, you call Nigerians in 419, it's because you're jealous. Because they are doing so much for Africa. They are doing so much for their country. They've proven that they are artists, they can do better, and... The entertainers and proof say even what the politicians cannot do, they can do it. They can do it. And wait them for politics and they still come out, they can't put them out for politics. I mean, guys, we gotta help ourselves. Me, I'm so tired. That's why I don't go to a club, I don't go nowhere as Donna House. Because when they see you and that they want to play all the beautiful salon music them. They will never just play them. Why are you playing them when you see me? You go only play some where you see Nasar Ayub. We used for the laughs and that's like, we're going to a club, they pay them DJ, they made them play in song. You think that's funny? That's pathetic. I mean, if Nasa don't already sing in song, it don't already pay, don't do in song, it don't take in time, it takes so much effort and so much everything. It really still for pay you for play. I mean, you are the one who is not playing your part. You think Nasa is funny? Bro, you are funny. You are a fake. You are funny. You should be the one that is, that, that should be laughed at. In all indication, Nasa is playing a better role than you. When you see any artist in a club, not only when they begin blast them, when they begin play on a song, them that's 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 pretty mean. When I'm very mean to be, and me, I'm going to chase this to the end. I'm going to chase this to the end of it. We gotta do what we gotta do. Y'all need to stop being fake. You're a Sierra Leonean. Wherever you go, first thing when they ask you, who's are you come out? I mean, y'all want to be like anything else but Sierra Leonean. I'm just here for that, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to chase it down. And if I'm not able to get them through this government, 
which I'm really hoping this government will change soon or later, after four years or now. If I'm able to succeed in this government, I will succeed in the next one. But that is something that I'm going to chase down. That is a law that should be passed. Even if you do married, if you know they play with song, we they stop the wedding because you're not promoting our shit. Punado, we they stop the Punado. Club, we they stop her. Rally, anything. With the same police, the men go sit down there. If they play five songs, they not play three or four when a salon song, men and call the entertainment police, we they come and shut them down. When you go and want and two, them all man, they pick shape. Period. Period. Where they support with business? They want to eat with people their money. Salon people money need for support salon man business. Yes. Anyways, thank you very much. Um, that's my mission. Yeah, for this 2024. I do have other mission, but this one is this one is top one. And I hope I'll get the support what I need. But I mean, I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> okay. Bye.